what's up? It's Alex, and in today's video, I used the Tartlet Toasted palette for the first time. If you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. As always, ABH's Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown on the brows. Then I went in with my Shella Eyebrow Defining Gel in clear and just set that shit in. And of course, I took my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer to clean up my brows and set my eyes. So now we don't want our eyes to crease, so I'm just going to take a little bit of my um, translucent setting powder and just kind of pack that onto my lid so that um, we don't get greasy. Creasy, not greasy. Okay, so next, um, for this look, I am inspired by a Ruby Fairer. I will take the picture and I will post it right here so this is the look that i am inspired by today and so for the look today i am using the tartlet toasted palette oh my god i just got this i haven't actually used it yet i have swatched sunset crackle and flame which are these two right here and i cried a little bit they are so pretty um so let's just hop into this so i'm gonna be starting off with the shade latte and Latte is down here. I'm going to be taking that shade just on a crease brush. I can find my favorite one. There we go. And I'm just going to be loading that up into the crease and then blending it into the outer corner as well. Do you ever just like cry a little bit when you get new makeup? It's like honestly same. So after loading that up into the crease, got to make sure they're even. I also want to apply that to the outer corner of the eye, just like on that outer lid piece. Build up some definition over there. So then the next shade I'm going to be taking is the shade directly above Latte, and that is the color Warmth. And I'm just going to be applying that on a smaller crease brush and into the crease again to kind of build up the warm orange shades. So I'm really going to build up this shade a lot. And again, putting that on the outer part of the lid as well. Holy moly, I am in love right now. I'm like going to cry. So, I'm going to take a new brush of mine, and this is the Sigma E45. It's the small tapered blending brush, and I'm going to be taking the shade Cozy and Fireside, these two right here, and I'm going to be mixing them and applying them into the outer V and onto that outer lid. So with the tapered, excuse me, with the tapered edge, it makes it really easy to blend into the outer V. So I am using more Cozy than Fireside, because Cozy is more warm toned, and Fireside is definitely a brown. So I want more, but I want the fireside to deepen the color, but I want Cozy to warm it up. If that makes any sense at all. And then I'm just going to blend that into the crease. And then with a big fluffy crease brush, I'm going to blend all this shit out. Next, we're going to cut the crease a little bit. Taking my Nars Soft Matte Complete Concealer, obviously. It's my favorite. And an angled brush. And we're just going to go from the inner corner to about halfway, a little bit more than halfway onto the lid. And instead of setting that with an eyeshadow, like with a matte eyeshadow that looks like my skin, I am going to pack on the shades Sunset and Simmer. So Sunset is the gold up here and Simmer is this one down here. And I'm just going to pack that onto the lid because I want those shades to pop. So I'm using a little bit more of Simmer because I want it to be more orange again and Sunset's definitely gold. And then with my angled crease, my E45 brush, I'm going to be taking a little bit more of Cozy on the tapered end and just blending that into the outer corner again, applying that there, and then just blending that into the crease. Blend that all out with a big floofy brush again. Next, I'm going to take my Smashbox Always On Gel Fishnet Liner and just tight line my upper lash line. So next, I'm going to take some makeup remover and just remove the makeup underneath my eyes from the fallout and all the shit that I put on. And that, like, literally, I think I just applied it to my lower lash line. Let's move on to the face. So for primer today, I'm going to be taking my Glow Starter Gl Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer, and this is a nude glow. Technically a moisturizer, not a primer, but I'm priming with it. So for foundation today, I am taking my Empty Beauty Foundation. I am in 120. So I did three pumps and I'm going to do one and a half more pumps. For concealer, I'm going to be taking two again, like always. So the first one is my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. 
I'm gonna conceal my chin, this guy over here, around my nose, and then I just do a couple dots super below my eyes. Oh. And for the other concealer, my NARS Soft Macabre Concealer, it's a shade like one Chantilly, and I just apply that more underneath my eyes because it's brightening as hell. So before I cream contour, I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder in Translucent, and I'm gonna pull down my under eye, make sure all that's blended in, and I'm going to pack some of the, I'm going to kind of bake my under eyes, but just directly underneath so that it doesn't crease. Okay, so while that is doing its thing, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Amber and contour. And then I'm going to take my translucent powder and set the rest of my face and brush off those under eyes. So for blush today, like always, I'm taking my favorite blush and that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. And then my Kat Von D Shapeless Light Palette, I'm gonna be taking the lightest shade, Somber. And then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and my setting powder and do that thing to make your contour more sharp, you know, that thing. All right, so moving on to the rest of the eyes, I'm gonna take the shades Latte and Warmth and blend them onto the lower lash line. So first I'm applying Latte and I'm literally gonna dr drag it from my, so it connects and then take Warmth. And again, dragging it so it connects. And for the inner corner, I'm going to spray my brush with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm going to be taking the shade Candle, which is this one right here. And I'm going to pack that onto the inner corner. Alright, so we're going to take an eyelash curler and curl your lashes. And for mascara today, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a sample. So if you don't like lashes, you can just do mascara because it does actually work. So before I add my lashes, I'm going to take my Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. Um, I'm sort of obsessed with this stuff. I got a sample of it and I'm considering just buying it because it actually works. Like I'm telling you, it works. Um, so this is not the lip I'm gonna use. I'm just waiting, I'm gonna let that soak into my lips while I finish off the rest of my face. So for lashes, I'm gonna take my Kiss lashes and these are in the style Poise. So I am gonna do this off camera because I also need to change my camera battery apparently. So I'll be right back. Okay, hello again, I am back. I got my, my falsies are on. Full highlighter. I'm going to set my face first with my All Nighter Urban Decay setting spray. And then while my face is wet, I'm going to take the Sephora Micro Smooth Illuminator Baked Illuminate but Micro Smooth Baked Luminizer in Stardust. And I'm gonna highlight. And this is just gonna cling to that setting spray. So for lippy, I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Rose, Tarte Assist Lip Paint in Rose. All right, so that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button subscribe and check out the instagram that is right there it's makeup by axel same way it is here and i will see you guys all next time bye